Hello, in this video we're going to look at the sales maximization model. Here's the idea behind this model. Corporate managers may seek to maximize sales once shareholders are receiving an adequate rate of return. The benefits to a firm may include lower input prices and borrowing costs and better reputation with customers, workers, and suppliers. Here is a firm that has an inverse market demand of price equals 12 minus 0.1Q and a cost of production given by the following. We want to solve for price, quantity, and revenue if the firm's minimum profit constraint is $150. Revenue is price times quantity. I'm going to replace the P here with 12 minus 0.1Q and that's all being multiplied by Q. Distributing the Q we get the firm's revenue and profit is just revenue minus cost so plugging in our revenue equation from above and then subtracting out total cost we have the following result rewriting the last step and now simplifying distributing this minus sign so minus 90 and minus 2q and our profit constraint when we started this problem was $150 so we're going to set profit equal to 150 setting our profit equation equal to 150 and now subtracting 150 from both sides we have minus 240 over here now and we're going to solve this for Q just rewriting that last step and once again solving for Q just moving some things around here moving this minus 0.1 Q squared out in front and then we're going to use the quadratic formula quadratic equation which is as follows and A is minus 0.1, B is 10, and C is the minus 240. Plugging everything into that formula and now simplifying. 10 squared is 100 and then we got minus 96 over here. Taking square root of 4, we have the following. We're going to get two roots. The first root, minus 10 minus 2, gives us minus 12 in the numerator. And once we do the division here, we get Q equals 60. And for the second root, minus 10 plus 2 leaves us with minus 8 in the numerator. And this will simplify down to 40. If we take the larger number here, Q equals 60, we'll plug that into the price equation. And we get a price of $6. And our revenue, evaluating the revenue equation, when Q equals 60, we get $360 of revenue. Alternatively, revenue is just price times quantity, so 6 times 60 is another way to find total revenue. And profit is revenue minus cost. So our revenue is 360 minus our cost when we're producing 60 units is $150, which satisfies the minimum profit requirement. If we were to take the smaller value, when Q equals 40, we'd get a price of $8, a revenue of 320 and profit would still be $150. So since we get more revenue from the larger output level, and we're trying to maximize sales revenue subject to this profit constraint, we're going to choose the larger output level. So managers will prefer Q equals 60 because it meets the minimum profit requirement and provides more sales revenue than if Q equals 40. Okay, I will stop here.